Hello guys, it's Skymers here and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. In this video I'm going to show you uh, the truly best uh, HDR settings for the game. Um, I recently uh, realized that uh, with HDIG the game uh, looks actually more nat natural and uh, ultimately it is the better option. So. Let's just uh, go through the uh, all of the settings uh, of the game and the TV to make sure that everything looks as good as it can get. So first off, let's go to the TV settings. Let's go here and make sure that uh, your TV is uh, the, the HDMI port set to uh, ultra deep color. This is very important because it will give you the option to have uh, HDR and uh, 60 FPS. So um, after that, I usually make sure to um, turn on screen shift and logo luminance to high to prevent uh, burning this is very important for the safety of your tv turn off energy saving because this is just f up f's up the brightness uh, and make sure that you're you are in game mode hdr game mode so the next thing you should make sure of is to set OLED light to 100 because if you want to get the best HDR image you may need to make sure that everything is on 100 the OLED light and the contrast uh, that's why because, uh, we turned on the screen uh, saving uh, options to prevent burning but you make sure to have uh, OLED light on 100 to get the best out of the, the TV. All right, so uh, these are my settings here. Uh, the dynamic contrast option is very important. If you turn off dynamic contrast, you lose a little bit of brightness and a lot of uh, small details on the grass, for example. It uh, sort of enhances uh, the image. It uh, elevates a lot of uh, small uh, details. All right, so the, I, I usually turn this too high with most of the games because it just makes the image pop much more, as you can see, especially there, here. Look at it. If I turn it off. It just dims a lot. You turn it back on, it brightens uh, the clouds. All right. So, dynamic tone mapping. This is what I realized. It should be on HGIG because it may look bright. Uh, it uh, even uh, sometimes in a brighter room, uh, it is advised to turn on dynamic tone mapping, but usually. AGIG is the better choice because you can see here uh, if I turn on dynamic tone mapping it sort of uh, blends uh, the darker and the brighter areas together um, and you lose uh, dynamic range actually because it uh, check it out as you can see here here Dynamic tone mapping actually uh, dims the sun <laughs> and elevates uh, the surround areas like the grass. If you look here, you can see that the grass will be brighter. Uh, but if you look on the sun, you can see that the sun will be dimmer. So basically, it closes the gap between the brightest and the uh, dimmest um, areas 
uh, and ultimately uh, uh, shortens uh, the dynamic range which uh, we want to avoid because HDR is about high dynamic range so usually HGIG is the better option and this is what I realized so make sure HGIG is on and then if we continue I leave super resolution on high color limit auto and white balance this is a uh, personal preference, but I think uh, Warm 2 is the truly best, but sometimes Warm 3 is uh, even better for this game, like um, the wild, wild West and everything, <laughs> you know, it, it is a warmer tone, uh, which is appropriate for uh, this type of setting. And uh, also uh, OLED has a lot of blue light and warm 3 is uh, fully eliminates it but it can crush uh, bright details a little bit but for me this looks very cool sometimes as you can see on medium everything just goes blue and this is this disgusting but like this everything it is a bit yellow on the camera uh, over exaggerating the blue also but still I much prefer this warmer tone for the game it is not as wa warm uh, as the camera uh, shows you it is a bit uh, cooler but still very warm this is why the warm to the sweet spot but warm three is uh, usually very good also so now I leave it on warm three and if you go on I leave these uh, like this um, and color management also like this and let's go back here and go to the picture options these are my settings for the game smooth graduation uh, is something that you should uh, always check because uh, it can make uh, the image uh, strange I don't know how to explain it because it is not seen uh, at the moment but it can ruin sometimes the image so it is better to leave it on medium black level is uh, on low Multi-Nike off, uh, true motion off, AI brightness off Alright, so these are the TV's settings for the game. Uh, if you go back to the tiny tone mapping, as you can see now, nothing is changing because the sun is so bright. Uh, actually, a small change this uh, for the sun to be a bit dimmer if you turn it on. So yes. Again, to make sure you understand, dynamic tone mapping is actually a worse, uh, bad idea, worse than HGIG. I mean, if you think HGIG makes the <laughs> image dimmer, then you are uh, partially right, because here it dims, but actually just gives you more uh, dynamic range. All right, so let's go to the game's settings. Make sure it is in full screen and nat native resolution. And then here is the HDR settings on and these are my values and uh, if we turn on dynamic tone mapping we will see that uh, it can oh I left it on sorry 
So if you turn it off, you don't see much of a difference, but uh, around the tree, you can see that it actually takes away uh, some of the uh, highlight details. So it it, it, it uh, masks some of the the tree itself, basically. And uh, if you leave dynamic mapping on, uh, these values uh, sometimes uh, can, <clears throat> how can I say, like, it doesn't make <laughs> much sense because dynamic tone mapping will always adjust uh, uh, the brightness of the, of the HDR according to the image. So if you change uh, the peak brightness, uh, nothing will uh, change actually because the TV will adjust uh, according to the the scene differences so HGIG will always uh, keeps the data from the uh, the game not uh, uh, and won't let the TV decide the image all right so these are uh, the settings for the game. Try them out and uh, tell me in the comment section what you think about it. Consider subscribing and have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching.